Hi everybody, my name is Mike Pitts. I'm a student here at Full Sail University. I'm enrolled in the Bachelor's of Science degree program for digital cinematography. I remember thinking when I was younger that it's going to take lots of money to be able to record your own music and uh, do music production and things like that. Well, I'm not rich and I don't have a bunch of fancy equipment. What I do have is a cell phone and a $20 app. And with that, I'm going to show you how to make your own music. Okay, now that you have your equipment set up, let's make some music. What you want to do first is you want to lay a, maybe a bass drum down first just to get a, a feel of the, um, of the song. But first, let me back up. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the song icon in the top left corner and scroll down to tools and we're going to tap the tempo around there 75 beats per minute we'll leave it at that then you scroll back up to your menu option menu box here go back over to the TRG which is the TRG-16, the sampling module. And what I'm using is the keys on my laptop to, uh, as a keyboard, okay? We're on a budget here, okay? <laughs> All right. So, we're going to go over to the top right corner. That's the record button. The Nano Studio app gives you a four count beat before it starts to actually record you. So we're going to go ahead and get into this now. stop button. Every time you make a recording, you got to make sure you hit the back key up here or it won't start recording from the beginning once you start recording again. Okay. Now we're going to lay a snare track down. It's going to be overdubbed on the same track so you don't have to worry about changing tracks and stuff like that. Nano Studio does that for you. Um, start here. Okay. Now we have a snare. We're going to add a cymbal tap in there also. undo button up at the top, hit OK, that erases the last recording that you've done. Okay, we're going to start that one over. Studio default is quantizing at 1 16th of a note. You can change that, but I don't recommend it. Most recordings you're going to do are going to need to be quantized to 1 16th of a note, okay? So let's hear what we got so far. We're going 
go back and add a bass drum to the first measure. Now, as you can hear, the single tap is a little bit too loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the edit box here, the top left corner. We're going to click edit and click on the pad that has the, the sound you want to edit in there. We're going to scroll over to volume. We're going to scroll the volume way down because it's too loud. The space bar on your keyboard plays the track again. sure to go back to home. That takes you back to the TRG-16 performance pad and allows you to record some more. Now that you know how to make a simple beat using Nano Studio, um, feel free to experiment with it. Uh, a lot of groups use Nano Studio. There have been whole albums recorded using this program, so feel free to experiment. Um, I'm Mike Pitts. Thanks for watching.